Welcome to the Turton Geography video channel. Understanding people and places through pattern and process. This is the second video in Geography through Diagrams and here we're looking at fluvial or river features and today's video is how to draw a diagram of a meander. As with all good diagrams it's often best to start with a box, draw it nice and neatly with a ruler that allows you to get a good size where the labels aren't too small. So let's start off with our diagram. I'm going to draw in an asymmetrical river channel. This is key for a river meander diagram because we want to show that one side of the channel is deeper than the other. On the shallow side, we're going to draw in a sediment deposit on a slip off slope. And we're going to label that sediment as a river beach where it's exposed above the water level. And on the outside of the meander, we're going to label the steep river cliff. Also on the inside, we have a slip off slope. This is where sediment has been deposited because of the slow flow of the water. Remember the outside of the meander is where the fastest flow is. Remember to give all your diagrams a nice clear label and underline it. But we can add some extra information if we want to make the diagram more informative. So let's remove some of those labels and add some more information. We can show the speed of the water or velocity of the water using isolines, lines connecting areas of equal velocity. And if we shade them in, we can see how on the outside of the meander, the river is flowing much faster than on the inside. If we label the isolines in meters per second, we can see how, where there's areas of friction between the bed and the banks, there's less velocity. And at the point on the outside of the bend, you have the fastest flow on the river. And of course, that means in the outside of the bend, there's more energy and that energy is used for erosion. We can show the erosion here with the arrows, eroding the meander outwards and downwards. Whereas on the inside of the bend, energy is used overcoming friction and therefore there's less energy to transport bed load and some of it is deposited on the slip off slope. That's where the slowest flow is. Again, don't forget to give your diagram a title and underline it. Now, of course, a cross section isn't the only diagram you can do. You can also do a plan view of a meander. So let's draw our river meandering, winding from side to side through its floodplain. Let's add the river beaches there that we can see on the inside of the bends. Don't forget the one at the top. And then we're going to label the outside of the meander with a bit more detail this time. So we're going to put the fact that it's erosion, but also the types of erosion. So that's hydraulic action and abrasion. On the inside of the meander, we're going to label deposition as the river beach. That's where the slip off slope. A dotted line drawn carefully down the river will show the fastest flow moving from side to side. This corkscrewing motion is known as helicoidal flow. Now we can join our two diagrams together. If we label AB across this meander and XY across the next meander downstream, we can draw cross section diagrams to show the shape of the channel. So there we have AB with the outer bend on the left and then XY, our cross section, which has the outer bend on the right. That's where the fastest flow is. Don't forget, once again, give your diagram a title, underline it, and there you have a river meander with plan view and cross section. Now the best bit comes after all, yeah, you get to colour it in. 